Herd members, Ben James here. Welcome to another episode of the Versus series. Today, we are looking at the Mute Swan versus the Canadian Goose. Two of the wetlands marvels. We embark on a captivating exploration of two iconic avian species as they vie for dominance in these picturesque landscapes. First, let us meet the Mute Swan. A regal symbol of British wetlands, with its pristine white plumage and vibrant orange bill, it commands attention and exudes an air of elegance. The mute swan is known for its serene presence, effortlessly gliding across tranquil waters. Next, we encounter the resilient Canadian goose, a determined inhabitant of these wetlands. With its distinctive honking calls resonating through the air, this goose displays a remarkable adaptability to the British environment. Its brownish grey feathers and striking white chin strap make it a recognisable figure in these wetland landscapes. When it comes to the flight, the mute swan is a true spectacle. Despite its considerable size and weight, this swan possesses powerful wings that generate impressive lift. With a wingspan that can reach up to 8 feet, it soars gracefully through the British skies, showcasing its prowess in the air. On the other hand, the Canadian goose demonstrates remarkable teamwork and endurance during its migratory flights. In the United Kingdom, some Canadian geese engage in seasonal migrations, flying in their iconic V-shaped formations. They navigate the skies with precision, covering impressive distances as they migrate to and from their breeding grounds. Let's delve into the nesting habits of these avian competitors. Mute swans are, devo are devoted parents. Renowned for their majestic nest constructions, they select a suitable location along the water's edge, using a combination of aquatic vegetation, twigs and grasses to build large and sturdy nests. The female meticulously arranges the materials, ensuring a comfortable and secure environment for the eggs. The male stands guard, protecting the nest and territory from potential threats. In contrast, the Canadian goose takes a different approach to nesting. These resourceful birds create nests on dry land, often in grassy areas near the water. They build their nests using plant material and line them with soft down feathers for insulation and protection. The nests are carefully hidden, providing a safe haven for their eggs and their young. While both species invest considerable effort in nesting, they exhibit different behaviours when it comes to incubation. Mute swans rely on the female's dedicated incubation, with the male standing guard. Canadian geese share incubation duties, with both the male and female taking turns to ensure the eggs are kept warm and protected. When it comes to migratory behaviour though, both mute swans and Canadian geese exhibit fascinating patterns to and from the UK. Some mute swans in the UK are non-migratory, that means they remain here all year round. However, others undertake seasonal movements within the country, seeking favourable foraging grounds and nesting sites. As the seasons change, migratory mute swans from Northern Europe, such as Iceland and Scandinavia, embark on impressive journeys to the UK. Milder climates and suitable wetland habitats. These migrations offer a testament to their adaptability and resourcefulness in finding optimal conditions for survival. On the other hand, Canadian geese visiting the UK are primarily migratory birds. They undertake awe-inspiring journeys travelling to and from the United Kingdom as part of their extensive migratory routes. During the spring and summer months, Canadian geese arrive in the UK from their breeding grounds such as Iceland, Greenland and parts of Scandinavia. These geese seek out the wetlands and grassy areas of the UK, which provide abundant food resources and ideal nesting sites. As autumn approaches, they embark on the return journey, flying southward to their wintering grounds in regions like Western Europe and North Africa. While mute swans and Canadian geese coexist in the, in the bountiful UK wetlands, their dietary preferences differ significantly. Mute swans are herbivores with a, with a pregnant for aquatic vegetation such as waterweed, pondweed and algae. Their long graceful necks allow them to reach deep beneath the water's surface to feed on submerging plants, enabling them to extract vital nutrients. 
In contrast, the Canadian geese are primarily grazers. They feed on grasses, sedges and other terrestrial vegetation found along the water's edge, or in nearby meadows. Their ability to graze on land grants them access to a wider range of variety of food sources. Both species have adapted their feeding habits to thrive in their respective wetland habitats, utilising nature's offerings to sustain their remarkable journeys and ensure their survival. Under the water, the mute swan dis displays its incredible diving skills. With its long neck and strong webbed feet, it can plunge deep into the depths of the wetland in search of aquatic vegetation. The swan's ability to stay submerged for an extended period is truly remarkable. Whereas the Canadian geese are adapted for feeding in the shallows, its, its serrated bill is perfectly suited for grasping and tearing vegetation. With a, with, a, with a ferocious appetite, these geese diligently graze on a variety of aquatic plants, ensuring a balanced diet. In the United Kingdom's wetlands, the mute swan and the Canadian geese coexist. Each species contributes to the rich tapestry of, of the diverse system. Whether it's the mute swan's illegal present or the Canadian goose's determined flights across the skies, these birds captivate our imagination and a minus the remarkable diversity of avian life in the UK. So, who wins between these two magnificent birds? Well, you decide. For me, Ben James, the X7 Logs, don't forget, guys. Unleash your inner explorer and hit that subscribe button and join our herd. And for me, I'll see you guys in the night.